Strepo told this story of what was going on, who was out there, kind of a timeline roughly of what happened over 15 months. But Korngall seeks to show you how those experiences affect people and no two experiences are the same. Some people are fine, some people aren't, and some people don't realize they're not fine for years. And so it, it's, it's using extra footage and other stuff that hasn't been shown yet to demonstrate, you know, fear, guilt, regret. Most of the soldiers who've seen it prefer this one more just because it's not catering to anyone, it's just raw truth. It's like having a candy camera in your car while you're car crashing, you know, like it's, you know, what, what do you expect is going to be on there? Like, you have no idea because you weren't focusing on that camera while you were, you know, in, in the middle of a life and death experience. There's so much footage that none of us knew they were taking. Uh, you do just lose focus on that camera very quickly. You don't know after a while what's, what's on there. You know, they're kind of a novelty for like the first day. And then you got shot at right after they got there and you're like, okay, passe, it's old. You know, it's, we got to keep focusing on this thing that's trying to kill you. They recognized something that most reporters don't, that they are at first a liability. Having them at Restrepo, it's more food and water we have to ration. Having them on patrol, it's a person without a weapon we gotta cover, things like that. And we didn't need to say it, they knew it. And as time went on, they really became part of it. Like everyone's like, whatever, the reporters, they got their story, they're gone. And then they came back. And if you asked me to go back, I probably wouldn't. That's a shitty place and they willingly came back for a story that might have panned out to nothing. You know, I always thought war was pretty black and white. Pull the trigger, someone's dead, they're alive, you're dead, they're alive, one of the two. But it's not quite like that, and the gray area is much more nasty than white and black. The experience for me um, uh, is pretty much serving as an inspiration for the rest of my life to figure out a way to stop conflicts as a whole. and. Um, you know, we're never going to get there if we keep if we keep drawing sides. You know, we're never going to get there um, if we keep thinking that you know they are the problem, you know, or if they keep thinking that we are the problem. You know, as long as we keep having a, a we and they duality, we're never going to be able to experience peace in this world as a whole.